is Sister Etuk Ufoma. I'm from Akaitiam District, from Stadium Group. Praise the Lord. In the month of, uh, um, that is Calabar Crusade, Signs and Wonders at Calabar Crusade. I was very ill. I contacted, I and my husband contacted COVID-19. I almost passed on, but the, to the glory of God, I connected through my phone and with the prayer of the man of God, I was delivered from death. Praise the Lord. I and my husband was delivered. Praise the Lord. It will happen, not just here, globally. As you listen, the Lord will touch you also. Brethren, the Lord is good. I had fungi inversion on one of my fingers, the left hand of my, of my hand, the middle finger. I had fungi infection for six years, even more than six years. And I've been praying and trusting God. And I'll also be following through, uh, Father in the Lord, in his uh, word ministration and prayers. Though he didn't come then, I didn't give up. I was still trusting God because I know it will surely come, my healing. And when we came for the showers of blessing last month, our mother in the Lord encouraged us. He said, don't just rejoice for those who are getting their miracles. You too should be a partaker. I trusted God the more. At the end of that program, day one, day two, day three, day four, I didn't get it. At the end of the program, when the host pastor came up, he said, this is the end of the, of the program. What you have not got, you will get it. I and the word came up, the prayers came up. I didn't get it. We went to rest. After taking the dinner, I saw particles fell from the finger. I didn't believe my eyes. I looked at it very well. My spirit told me this could be the dried fungi. It didn't end there. I saw that the base where the fungi invaded was opened and the habitation scattered. The healing started. My brethren, I tell you, I enjoy my healing. That's what God did for me. Are you here? Just trust God. He can do more for you. Today, this time is your time. My time came, I got it. You will get it in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord! The same God that did it for her will do for you in Jesus' name. The next. Praise the Lord! My name is Washington Obawabong. For me, um, it was the last crusade at Portacot, showers of blessings. I've been having this severe chest pain for three years now. It was after the program I got my miracle. But I had to check up. Since that time till now, that pain is no more. And my second testimony, yesterday, God delivered me from the hands of ritualists. I want to give God all the glory. There is no time for me to tell you stories, but be to the name of the Lord in Jesus' name. We'll take a life testimony from U.S. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We thank God for his mercy and love towards us. I am Pastor Ernest Kukigan. 
with my wife, Sister Ivo Kukigan. We both got married for about 14 years now. From the first months of her marriage, she got conceived. But there was miscarriage after four months. And that was a sad event and a serious other ones. But to God be the glory, we came down to this United States where we are presently residing. I worship with Deeper Life Bible Church, with Samara Church, in 140 Saratoga Avenue, Brooklyn, Rocky Mountain region. In February this year, the program, and it was centered fully on the family. Every area, married or married, and God took control and took charge. In that program, all the pastors, they ministered concerning every marriage, and I claimed mine also that God will visit us, and God will do wonder. And uh, indeed, it started in my own family. That same February, my wife got conceived. And before then, one of my sister called and said, both of you have traveled to the United States. You are not coming back. Both of you must come back more than one. And it was a challenge we took up and we believed God. And uh, God did it that February. She got, I mean, she got conceived and uh, continued all through till the day of delivery. There was no sickness of any sort. She walked through. On the 27th, originally she was given the of November. But on the 27th of October, she went to work. But due to other things, she was fucked up. She couldn't continue with the work. She reported to the supervisor, who now said, okay, after examining, took her to emergency ward. She was admitted. And the doctors checked and said, we'll keep you here till you deliver. Now, the next day, she called me. I went, I saw them. And they were monitoring and everything was fine but the baby in the womb what was not coming as it's supposed to it was really prolonged but on the 29th morning i was a hope she called me that the doctors came and said the baby must come now i said okay go ahead cooperate with them whatever they want to say that i'm coming so i went down straight to the clinic I went in to the labor room. He said, no, go out, you're coming later. So as I came, GS was in Port Harcourt, we know that month, October. And uh, exactly that time, 2 p.m., he was ministering. And I was following up, praying. I say, I just believe that my GS is here. He glorified himself. And then did later into the theater, I went in, and they gave me the baby and we were saying congratulations. And GS was still ministering. I was showing the baby. They look at our GS ministry. He was just moving at me as he was seen and uh, hearing what I was saying. So their joy filled up there. The senior doctor, when he finished, he walked to me and said congratulations. The wife case was a tough one, but that God took charge. He brought the umbilical cord and showed me, say, say, it coiled around the baby's neck and made a knot, which made it impossible for the baby to come out and when it's supposed to come out. But to God be the glory, the baby came out. He was he sound. The mother, also my wife, is sound. And uh, his name is Zane Tamuno Bara, Ernest Kukigam Jr. Praise the Lord.